Welcome once again to today's discussion. We are looking at a question on the periodic table. And the question we have reads, The diagram below represents part of the periodic table. Use it to answer the questions that follow. Remember, the periodic table is made up of periods and groups. Periods are horizontal while groups are vertical so the first column here gives us group one the second one gives us group two the third group three four we have group five we have group six group seven this is group six then group seven lastly we have group eight elements in the last column we have period one in the first row period two in the second so period one is the first row period two the second row period three the third period four the fourth and period five the fifth we can now answer the questions that we have part a write the electron arrangement of the following elements we have a we have D and lastly we have E. To write the electron arrangement or a configuration, we are going to use periods and groups. For example, in element A, which is in group 1, period 2, period 2 means it's going to have two occupied energy levels and the last energy level is going to have one electron and therefore a will be 2, 1, meaning period 2, group 1. We go to D. You realize D is in group 4, but period 2, meaning the electron arrangement is going to be 2, 4, giving us group 4, period 2, since it has two occupied energy levels. Then we go to E. Element E is in group 3 period 3 meaning we are going to have 2 8 3 meaning we have 3 electrons in the outermost energy level which gives us the group of this element and since it has 3 occupied energy levels that places it in period 3 that part has been answered very well now we move to other questions part b of the question we are told to write the formula of the compound formed between element c and d so the formula of the compound is going to be c d but for us to have the correct formula we need to look at the valences c C, as you can see, is in group 2 of the periodic table, meaning it has a valency of 2 that is going to give to D. Then D is in group 4, meaning the valency of D is going to be 4, and therefore it is going to give it to C. And this one can also be written by simplifying it as C2 then D. This becomes our final formula of the compound formed between elements C and D. The last part of the question is where we are supposed to write the formula of the compound formed again between E and the D, remember E is uh, in uh, group uh, 3, E is in group 3, period 3, with an electron arrangement of 2, 8, 3, meaning it has a valency of 3. And then, of course, D is in 
group uh, four with two four since it is in period two looking at the valences again e has a valency of three d has a valency of four and therefore the compound formed will be e d but d has a valence of four it goes to e then e has a valence of three it goes to d and by so doing we have written the correct formula of the compound formed when e and d combine or react thank you for watching and welcome to our channel and in case you are watching this channel for the first time please take one second and click the subscribe button so that anytime we publish a video like this you'll automatically be given a notification